Welcome back, everybody. My next guest is a chef and humanitarian whose charity, World Central Kitchen, has provided disaster relief to millions all over this troubled world. Please welcome back to LHO, Chef Jose Andres. Jose, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Now, what we're about to do is have the first cooking segment live and in person on any late night show. You ready to do it? We're outside. This is perfectly responsible. We're outside and we're over 10 feet away, okay? I mean, nobody can ever understand my English without the mask. You know how difficult it is for an immigrant like me to be speaking English with a mask? Nobody can understand anything I tell them. It, 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 it's the, the emotion that we get, even if we don't understand the words. We get all the love, Jose. So what are we doing? Are you ready to do this? Uh, uh, okay, I have love for you. I have love for you too. I, I am an immigrant. What is my role as an immigrant? To, to honor the traditions of America, but also to push the boundaries. What I'm doing right now, I'm giving you one of my favorite ingredients, which are sea urchins from Maine. The, the sea urchins, okay. Sea, these, sea urchins. These, these um, look like something that takes over your body in a science fiction movie. It, it is, but actually is the most delicious thing in the history of mankind. Okay. Now, wait, so this is for Thanksgiving? Uh, I, that's what I'm having for Thanksgiving. And Did, why we should do that? Why? Because there's so many fishermen, farmers, that they need our support. And in America has such a bounty of amazing things that we should be supporting them as we add new traditions to our Thanksgiving. So how do I eat it? How, okay, how do I grab this? Because we, got, we have these. Your producer. Oh, we have shit. these. Do you have one of these? Okay. We have grabbers. So let's go. Okay. okay. I opened some for you. You want me to show you how I open one? Yeah, I just want to see. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're okay, good. good. Take a look. We have a scissors here. Yeah. Man. Scissors? Scissors. Scissors. Uh, see, are you... I <laughs> rarely... I uh, really then, have look to... Look at, look at. I really have to give my food a haircut. You're going to put there the scissors. You're going to cut through the mouth. <laughs> and you're going to keep going around. Okay. Around like this. And at the end, my friend, look at what you have. You open the sea urchin, and inside... Yes? You have the gonads. The gonads? The gonads. <laughs> These give you powers. These give you superpowers. Really? With the gonads, probably we can beat COVID. <laughs> With the gonads, probably we can dream of a happy tomorrow. Look at this. Look this, at this. This orange stuff in here? Yes, is, this is the gonads? Is the most amazing thing. Look, he, look should, at he should definitely have these checked out. Oh my God. There you go. But it's perfect. It's perfect for the fall. Uh, here, you want some? I know, uh, I can't. You, it's COVID. Mm. Some of the saltiest gonads I've ever had. No, they, I have to say, it's delicious. Simon, they it's come delicious. from the ocean. What do yes. you want it to be? They need to be salty. That means they're fresh. I just ate one of the spikes. But you spit them. But okay, not in my direction, in Fantastic. another direction. Fantastic. Okay, you know, Jose, you're only my, you're only my second in live in-person guest I've had so far. And what do we drink with sea urchin in my, in my country? What, what do you drink? But this is something like we love in America, cider. And here I have Tramanco? American cider and a Spanish cider from Asturias. Okay. And I'm gonna show you the tradition in Spain. We bring the bottle up here. And we bring the glass down here. Okay, okay you go. And you have to let it fall slowly until it hits the rim of the glass. You serve a little bit. Take a look at hold all on, hold the on, bubbles. Hold on. Oh my God. And, You're so good. And what is the purpose Steven, of this? New what, is York, the, what is this doing New for York. me? New York. Clap, clap. He's amazing. <laughs> okay, this is very good. But in Asturias, we serve a little bit. But why do we do this? Because take a look what's happening. All the bubbles. It's a mess. This was, this was invented this. by someone who had excess cider. This is one of my favorite Thanksgiving meals I've ever had, actually, right now, up here. And again, this is totally safe because we're outside. There's plenty of ventilation. I can barely smell the gonads. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, you see we don't have turkey this year? What we don't we? have turkey because we pardon our turkeys. Like, 
President Trump. He, he yesterday he he pardoned the Turkish and you so, and I. Take a look. It's over there. Over, there, over no over there. <laughs> Okay, so we pardon the they're, Turkish people. They're flightless. Yeah, but, they're flightless, but I'm going to show you to make a very quick cake. A cake? Let's go. You what? grab this spoon. Okay. No, you grab this spoon. One the... spoonful of sugar. One spoonful of sugar. Yeah, um, put it over here, better. Oh, in, in here? Okay. Yeah, one whatever. spoonful Fair of sugar. You. Now, one spoon full of mayonnaise. Of mayonnaise? This is mayonnaise. Why? This is because definitely an American recipe. It's eggs and oil. A okay. Four. Then a spoonful of cream cheese. This is cream cheese? Okay. And then another spoonful of this kind of pumpkin mix. Filling, the filling, yeah, Like sure. the one you buy in Libby's, the store. The can of Libby's, one. exactly. And then one egg. And you crack it inside the bowl. And then you mix the whole thing. Okay. Like this, you mix, mi mix, mm -hmm. keep mixing until it becomes a perfect cream like this. You see? I got it. And then we have yeah. this pot over here. You can be using Pyrex, you can be using a terracotta, whatever. Yeah. And then you put a little bit on top. Already we have some in here. Yeah, no more. No more, okay. And then you go and you put it inside the microwave. Wait a second. You are a two Michelin star chef and you use a microwave? Sure. That's legal? It is legal. I, 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 hold I on. thought chefs frowned in microwaves. In case you see any immigration officer looking at this show, the microwave is legal. Do we okay. hit start? Two minutes, yeah, press start. Okay. And now it's two minutes. And you wait. All right, while we're waiting, I want to hear about World Central Kitchen. Where I know you guys have been all over the United States and all over the world during COVID, but you've also been responding to some hurricanes yeah. lately. Tell me what happened down in Honduras and what your work is down there. Well, uh, World Central Kitchen has done almost 40 million meals through this pandemic. Amazing men and women, thousands of volunteers, 3,000 restaurants only in America. We've been in Beirut after the explosion in Lebanon, uh, every single hurricane, the fires in California. Right now, we have teams in Honduras, in Guatemala, in Colombia. Myself, I just came back from there, and I'm so proud that America can be showing up, my profession showing up to feed people in need in America, but also showing up in countries that they need for us to help them. Sometimes, you know, the big problems, they have very simple solutions. You show up, you start cooking, a humble plate of food shows people a better tomorrow. You know, it's very simple. We go and we tell people we have only one mission, Feed the hungry and bring water to the thirsty. Everybody understands this message. Oh, mine has been. I got 30 seconds left. Okay, 30 seconds. I'm going to add a little bit more. Okay, so I, should I add more? Uh, a little bit more because every microwave, it behaves in a different way. You have to give love to the microwave. You have to, uh, to say, hey, baby, behave, do good, be, be nice, because you see, they have this beautiful face, these yes. beautiful eyes. They, look at how cute this microwave is. Sure. So you have to be nice to the microwave. Uh -huh. You have to uh -huh. say, hey, baby, yeah. I need you now. I have to finish this segment, or he's going to throw me out of the building. OK? This is done, I think. Okay. So take a look what happens. Two minutes. Look at this amazing pumpkin. The mayonnaise. The pumpkin puree. Should I tell the... So is this... Have I, have I got too much here? Am I no, there? No, let me see. It's, I think you put too much, but that's fine. L listen, we rewrite the yours. recipe. We'll just keep yours. going. We'll keep use going. yours. We'll use so yours. take a look what you do now. I come and I have some graham crackers. I'm and, sorry, some what? And, uh, uh, you don't understand my English? Do you have COVID? <laughs> do, do, I, don't not, I don't have ear COVID. Okay, I'm sorry. and then you, you get a, a crab, a Chesapeake blue crab hammer. I can't. And use my <laughs> I don't have my hammer. Here, I, I give you. My, hold I, on. I, I cannot it. give you my. Uh, uh, yes. There you go. Uh, wait, can you I'm drink good. food with respect? Sure, it's, I can, yeah. it's okay. inside the bag. My uh, boot didn't get on it. And then what you do. You put the Graham crackers on top of these. Okay. And then, very good, you put it on a plate like that. Upside down, don't burn yourself or your producer will kill me. <laughs> oh my God. The, I'm telling you people of America, this recipe works. But this recipe works, but the Stephen Colbert I've never got goodness. a show on the cooking channel. You can see why. You can see why. Don't burn yourself. And look at, look at, look at. Oh my God. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Steve, look at this. 
Look at this. In this moment, you put some pumpkin seeds that we caramelize. You go and you put okay. some olive oil on top, like this. You go and you put some salt. And ladies, mm. people of America. And then, don't forget, just a little, <laughs> just a little. Just get a little bit from up here. There you go. Oh. Asturias, patria querida. That's the song we sing where I come from when we pour the cider. Well, we're all very thankful for you, Jose. Thank you for being here. To learn more about World Central Kitchen, go to wck.org. Chef Jose Andres, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. We'll be right back.